How's it going YouTube? This is Nicodemus from Droid Cheats and I'm going to show you how to install Paranoid Android 3.15 with the Pi Control if you're into that on your Nexus 10. Now if you're not already unlocked and rooted and have a custom recovery flashed on your Nexus 10 please watch the video links in the description showing you how to do all that. Once your device is ready to put custom ROMs onto come back to this video and what we will do you will need to click on the link in the description and it will take you to the Paranoid Android thread on, next, on xdadevelopers.com and we will scroll down here to where we download it from right here download the ROM and while we're saving that file we're going to download the Google Apps. The links for both of these are in the description. So make sure you get these downloaded. And keep in mind, I'm doing this on the computer just for purposes of showing you the video and stuff. You do not need to download these onto your computer and then transfer them to your Nexus 10. You can use your Nexus 10 like if you are right now watching the video. Click on the links in the description and download the files directly to the Nexus 10 and do it that way as well. Okay, once you have both those files downloaded, we'll go to computer and open up the Nexus 10 and go to the download folder. I'm going to delete the two files I have in here. I'm not going to need those. I am actually not a fan of CyanogenMod. Um, every time I've used it on every device, um, I've had bugs and stuff that just are annoying but I do like this Paranoid ROM so go to where you downloaded your files at Parano the Paranoid Android Google Apps will drag that over and the Paranoid Android Manta which is the code name for the Nexus 10 3.15 ROM okay now that both files are downloaded to your Nexus 10 we can go over here and unplug the Nexus 10 and we're gonna boot it up in our recovery mode Volume up and volume down and power button. Hold all three. Keep holding it. And here we go. Press volume up twice. Hit the power button to go into recovery mode. Okay, I am on CM 10.1 right now and we're going to be going to Paranoid Android 3.15 so the first thing I'm gonna do is wipe and do a factory reset I'm going to wipe the cache and Dalvik cache and then I will click the back button click on install Click on the ROM itself and we'll go ahead and flash that. Wipe cache and Dalvik cache. Click back. Click back again. Install the Google Apps. Swipe to flash. I'm going to wipe the cache and Dalvik cache again. And then we'll reboot the system. Everything worked right. We should have the Paranoid Android boot animation coming up right now, and we do. Now it takes a little bit the first time to boot up into Paranoid Android, but I'm telling you, once you've once you have it installed, I have never seen a faster boot process than with this Paranoid Android ROM. You will see what I mean. It is extremely fast. I'm gonna skip through all of this real quick. Okay, one thing I like about the ROM is you actually have your buttons in the bottom left. The bottom right is where you swipe for your settings and such. And is also where you swipe for your notifications. It's all combined. I really, really like that. You can change the size and layout of your system. You can reset it whenever you want and put you right back to where it started. If you want to use 
the pie control you need to go to settings under toolbars you can change settings the trigger area to determine the size of the region that registers swipes prevent rotation pie gravity middle alignment style size gap between the items persistent menu button enable the search button on pie controls I mean so many things you can do you can allow to see applications behind a lock screen I mean there's tons of stuff you can do so you just hold the power button for a second and then we click on full screen pie and it enables full screen mode you just swipe up and there's our pie controls which is much better than in CM 10.1 which was ported from this ROM in the first place it also shows notifications, date, battery, Wi-Fi, time, um, search button, takes you back to here. You can change the size of it. It's very, very customizable. This is by far my favorite ROM and my daily driver. So, this is how to put the Paranoid Android 3.15 ROM on your Nexus 10. I hope you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And this has been Nicodemus from Droid Cheats. I appreciate your time. I'll see you next time.